Hello, my name is David Kirkland Garner and I'm an assistant professor of composition and theory at the University of South Carolina School of Music. I'd like to welcome you to our Fall 2020 New Voices concert recording. This video features pieces by eight student composers, Michael Calamus, Grace Shepard, Jesse Kaiser, Rachel Armstead, Bryce Owens, Andrew Gretzinger, Ian Schwalbe, and James R. Lorick. Congratulations to all the composers on their hard work and sincere thanks to all the performers on these videos. The Spark Collective, directed by Professor Rebecca Nagel, and our audio recording engineer extraordinaire, Jeff Francis. Thank you and I hope you enjoy. Hi, my name is Michael Calamus and I'm a senior percussion performance major here at USC. And you are about to hear my piece, Theme and Variations Number no. 1 for viola and cello. Uh, the piece starts with a short theme that's mildly inspired by Brahms, and then it's followed by five variations. Uh, I want to thank my performers, Lucas and Emily, and also a huge thank you to my teacher, Dr. Rogers, for forcing me out of my comfort zone as I wrote for instruments that I was not comfortable with at first. Enjoy.
Hi, my name is Grace Shepherd, and I am a DMA in piano performance. The title of this piece comes from a line of poetry by the poet John Keats. Um, what I love about this poem, in addition to just really loving Keats and anything that he has ever done, um, is that there are two versions of it. And depending on which version you get, you get a really different understanding of the poem and what it's about. I thought that was really interesting to think about in terms of music and how everyone who hears it can hear it a different way and everyone who performs it can perform it a different way and how quickly we can change things like timbre and textures um, and dynamics especially on the piano um, and I think that's one of the strengths of the piano which I really wanted to think about as I was writing it also knowing that I was going to be the one performing it um, and really trying to think about how I could use all those things to the best of my ability.
Hello everyone, I'm Jesse Kaiser. Thank you so much for tuning into tonight's concert. It really means a lot to us. So for me tonight, you'll be hearing a piece called Scott for Cello and Electronics. This piece was commissioned earlier this year by a great friend of mine and fabulous cellist Jordan Bartow, who made the recording of the premiere performance for tonight. So this piece was actually inspired by an audio track that I randomly stumbled upon online and I just loved the sound of it, and I immediately knew that I could use it for a piece. I wasn't sure how, but I knew I could use it. Um, and upon doing further research, it turns out the creator of the sound, or the track, had made it um, in memory of a friend he had lost to drug addiction. So I reached out to the creator and asked if he had any information about how he created the sound, or was it all comfortable talking about his personal relationship with the track? And he was very responsive, and he... Um, provided for me much more than I could have ever asked for. Um, and it uh, was very informative for the piece and how it ended up unfolding. And in the piece, I suppose that I just try to evoke just this whole sense of grief in the loss of a friend from this, you know, stillness, not knowing where you are, not knowing how to feel, you kind of lack emotion and you're just frozen, all the way to these just dramatic outcries of pain. But all of this with hope in mind, because there always is hope to be had. So I think that's a good summary of the piece, and apart from that, I'll let the piece speak for itself. So thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy it.
Hi, my name is Rachel Arnstead. I'm working on a Master of Music in Composition, studying composition under Dr. Rogers. The title of my piece is Fantasy, and it is inspired by a poem of the same name by Gwendolyn Bennett. The poem colorfully describes a dream in which the poet travels to the land of night and marvels at its many wonders. And in my piece, I attempt to evoke that same sense of quiet awe.
Hello, my name is Bryce Owens, and I'm a second year master's student currently studying with Dr. Gardner. I composed Glacier Shadows, which is a piece for solo piano. In the piece, I try to capture what you might see and feel if you're in a place covered with snow and ice, just as night started to fall. To do this, I used harmonies that sounded cold, and I created a wide sense of space by making use of the piano's wide range and by letting the music take its time. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy Glacier Shadows, performed by Grace Shepard.
Hi everyone, I'm Andrew Gretzinger, and this suite is made up of three movements that use different compositional techniques. The first movement only utilizes six pitches throughout the movement. The short, pointillistic nature of the piece is at odds with the creeping in of longer, smooth notes. The second movement takes great use of different extended techniques for the ensemble. Breath, key clicks, multiphonics, and alternate fingerings create the quiet, otherworldly affect. The third movement is a much more playful and robust movement. Gradually, the grace note figures decrease throughout the movement and the two themes alternate until eventually chromatic scales ensue, until, ironically, it ends on a B-flat major chord to close the meandering tonality of the entire suite. Thank you to the performers, and I hope you all enjoy. Thank you. 
Hi, I'm Ian Schwalbe. I'm a freshman composition major here at the University of South Carolina. This piece is really very short and simple. It's called Running Out, and it's written for solo piano. I performed it myself for this recording. It mostly stems from my frustration with the COVID-19 pandemic and how it feels like I'm running out of hope, even if there's still a little bit of light left in all of the surrounding darkness. Hi, I'm James R. Lorick, a composition major at our U of SC School of Music, and my piece on our program is entitled Transliteration. Transliteration can be defined as the conversion of a set of language data from one system into a very different system, one which utilizes different syntax, different grammatical rules, different symbols. This title is especially appropriate because by the application of a technological procedure called granular synthesis, 
and utilizing the immense calculating power of the modern computer, I have converted short audio files of spoken language, French and Mandarin Chinese, into particles of microsound whose duration is less than 50 milliseconds. These particles are referred to as grains and is the, the manipulation of these grains in various recombinations that is the procedure for the creation of transliteration. One suggestion and one word of caution. Please turn down the volume of your listening system until you are aware of the inherent volume of transliteration. It may be louder than you anticipate, and you can always turn it up a little. Also, if you listen on a system with very good stereo separation or using headphones, the experience will be greatly enhanced. Thank you very, very much for listening to my music. Please stay safe, and I sincerely hope that you enjoy transliteration. Yeah. <laughs>